Our <laughs> guest in this segment is Penny Horner, who joins us from the American Cancer Society. The Relay for Life is coming up soon. Penny, good morning to you. Good morning. Now, I want you to know, if Bill insults you, don't take it personally. It's just what he does. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. I might have a comeback. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> She's loaded for you, Bill. Uh, yeah. Uh, trust me, Penny, if you have a comeback, I will not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, Penny, great to have you with us. Is this your first appearance on the show? Yes, it is. Well, welcome. It is. It's, thank uh, you. Well, thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here today. When is the Relay for Life this year? June 3rd at Martinsburg High School. Are We uh, open the ceremonies at 11 a.m. All right. And it's the place to be, that's for sure. Are you right there at the football field for the opening ceremony? Yes. Okay. And who's invited? Everyone. Our entire community, our surrounding communities. Um, we have people that come from New York, people that come from Florida to join us every year. We actually have a lady that's come from Parkersburg, West Virginia, because she doesn't have a relay in her area um, in West Virginia. So she comes here to take part in her state relay. Are relays on this date fairly standard around the country at different locations? Um, we do have a lot of summer um, relay events, so yes. Very good. Any idea how many cancer survivors there are in our local area, Penny? It's hard to put a number on that because a lot of our cancer survivors, um, for whatever reason, they do like to remain private um, until their, their battle is over. Um, a lot of people don't understand that they're actually a survivor the day that they've been diagnosed um, until, you know, until they're no longer living on earth. You know, you are a survivor. I've been a breast cancer survivor for the past 13 years. Congratulations. So that, thank you. So that day that I received that diagnosis is the day that I became a survivor. So getting the word out to our survivors you don't have to be done with your treatment to be considered a survivor. You are a survivor, day one. Bill Stubblefield. Uh, good morning, Penny. Uh, you live in Martinsburg, and you're in charge of the American Cancer Society Development Program. Uh, how far regional does your influence reside, lie? So I'm with the D.C. Baltimore area. We have a team. And I, uh, my events are Relay for Life of Berkeley County, Relay for Life of Jefferson County. I do Relay for Life of Winchester, Virginia. Um, we also have a Making Strides Against Breast Cancer that is in Berkeley County in October. And then in Fauquier County, I do Real Men Wear Pink. So those are the areas that I manage. Um, but we do, um, this is a, a nationwide organization. We're fighting cancer everywhere because cancer doesn't discriminate. So we have many programs that help support us here locally um, for patients like free rides to treatment, free lodging during treatment, um, breast cancer support services and survivors network, reach to recovery, survivors, in general, helping survivors, um, we're able to connect the survivor with somebody that has gone through something similar to, to help you out, to help support you. Because when you do get that cancer diagnosis, it can be scary. And it's not always a death sentence. Yeah. So you as an individual uh, works work both with events as well yes. as individuals. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So just just a comment, um, Penny, and you and I um, go way back. I remember um, uh, having a conversation with you when Hospice of the Panhandle was uh, thinking about launching a palliative care program. But that, that being said, um, if anyone has not been, and I can't imagine, because if you go out that day on June the 3rd, there are a ton of people, a ton of groups that support, a ton of individuals that um, that want to walk, and it's very moving. the The whole um, 
the whole scenario all day long. And of course, there are different, I'm sure you're going to talk about the different times of different ceremonies, the beginning of the walk and, you know, um, that kind of thing. But um, everyone knows someone if they have not um, or have not had cancer themselves. Everyone knows someone or is intimately involved with someone who um, who's fighting the good fight nowadays. But it's a very moving ceremony for a lot of people. Well, I think anybody who's out there, um, it's just very moving. It Maybe. is. It's, oh, it sorry. becomes a place of healing. And for our area and many areas like ours, it, this has become a tradition. This is the students today are emailing me saying, Miss Horner, what can I do to help? So we're involved in our schools. We're involved in help providing that education about cancer awareness and support. We're getting grants back to our schools that participate um, in raising funds for the American Cancer Society. So we're seeing a need. Let's support those that support us too, right? So it goes hand in hand. This is not just a private individual event. This is a community-wide event where faith-based organizations can come. So we do have a large um, demographic of, of people that come to Relay, maybe not all for the same reason, but it's all for the same cause, um, and that's to stop cancer. But, yes, as you said, we have these great it, – it's entertaining. It's uh, and it's emotional. You go through the effects of somebody that was diagnosed with cancer, being scared, feeling alone, um, just some of those feelings that can come up when, when you're not feeling well. We have fun laughs that um, educate others in our area, like Road to Recovery. That's our um, patient program that provides free transportation during medical treatment. Um, people are encouraged to come and bring their cardboard box cars that you can carry a cancer patient after we do the lap with those cars, then they put them in the middle of the field. However, this year, instead of them being cars, they're boats because our theme is Pirates of the Caribbean making cancer walk the plank. <laughs> Very cute. It's all about you, Bill. You could you could be there (laughs) and the pirate part. Yeah, yeah, the pirate part. Yeah, Uh, exactly. uh, Penny, I'm struck by the fact how much visibility the effort fighting against cancer has on sporting events. I was watching a baseball game a couple of nights ago. Uh, Both teams are wearing pink uh, during uh, NCAA tournaments uh there's a uh, uh 30 40 minutes before the games they feature uh the fight against cancer uh this has to it's obviously well coordinated uh i'm curious about the organizational structure of american cancer society uh both at the national level and how it works its way down to the local level uh, we have well it's a it's a large organization where one of the, we are the largest organization that is in the fight back against cancer. So we're leading um, those cures. We're a fact driven organization. So I'm I would tell you if you would like more detailed information because I could probably talk like twenty days telling you all this information. But go on to cancer dot org. You will find all the information you want about our corporation, about um, who we partner with, and why they partner with us. We do have a lot of benefits because we are a healthcare-driven um, organization. And when we're saying healthcare organization, we're providing that awareness, the knowledge of what to look for. Symptoms. Go get your screenings done annually. Um, follow the guidelines that are set into place that we have um, a board of directors. They're all volunteers. They're not paid staff. They're all volunteers looking for a better way, a better outcome, um, 
pilot programs, clinical trials, where are our investments going to go? So things like that. But you had said, yes, baseball. We also do um, the NFL Crucial Catch. Um, but it's, it's everywhere. So whoever supports us and whoever partners with us, um, we're, we're happy, we're proud um, that they're, how do I say it, in it to win it. <laughs> Yeah, and and um, more credit to you folks because I think we are making progress in our fight against cancer. Do you have statistics uh, ha- uh, handily, mentally uh, available of where we are now as far as percentage cures today as what we had, say, 20 years or so ago? Well, we are um, leading the way in our research. So our research, I can tell you that we have invested $3 billion since 1991 um, to prevent, detect, treat, and survive every cancer. So it is a big impact. So we are at 36% have seen a a cancer incidence rate in decline. So that's huge. However, because of COVID, people were afraid to go get their screenings. So now those people that are being um, given the cancer diagnosis, their cancers are further along. So we are out here, go return to screening, return to screening. Um, It's so critical. I always say it's like being a firefighter. You aim at the base of the fire to put that out. The sooner you get it, it's curable. It's the sooner you find it, it's curable. Um, so go get those screenings. It's so important. So I, just a, another um, uh, point about cancer.org. Um, you know, we all, um, when you hear that someone has, someone's been diagnosed, what have you, these days, your first inclination is if it's not somebody, you know, super close, um, you immediately go to WebMD, whatever, and, and, you know, and try and become Dr. Google, something like that. But <laughs> the, the cancer.org is an incredible resource um, so that you're not getting all these, well, of course, you know, you Google something and the first thing that comes up are six ads, but if you go directly to your all's website, um, you know, you can, you can type in the, the cancer diagnosis, you can find out a lot more and, um, you know, just overall, it's just more, um, you know, comforting, I think, than, than some of the things that you can see. It's good information. It's factual. It's all right there. Um, for, um, for those of us who Google guilty. (laughs) Yes. And I'm guilty about that too. Um, and I'm, I've been sitting on my hands sometimes saying, don't go there, Penny, don't go there. So I always, always go to cancer.org. If it's something to do with, with, um, a type of cancer that you want more knowledge. And also we have the 800 number. The 800 number is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I will tell you this this story about a little boy, and I hope I get this right. This little boy, he was going to school every day, and he couldn't wait to get home. But he would always rush to be the first one out the door. And the teacher noticed this, and it wasn't a regular thing that, you know, he used to do. And so she stopped him one day. She goes, so why are you in such a hurry to get home, to get out of here? He goes, because it's really important. I have to make a phone call. I have a friend at the American Cancer Society. My mom has cancer, and I need to get her help. So he was going home, and he was calling this one person every day on our 800 number. And that person every day would sit with this little boy on the phone and listen to him and help him. So these are just some of the things that we can do. We're there to support whoever it is. If it's a caregiver, the caregiver can call. If it's a cancer patient, you're up at 2 o'clock in the morning and you need somebody, you can call. What is the 800 number, Penny? 
It's 800-227-2345. 800-227-2345. Penny, let's get back to the Relay for Life at Martinsburg High School. How many people are you expecting? What's a typical crowd? Oh, so far we have 249 registered participants. Um, we would love, our goal is to pack that track. We would love to see our entire community come out and clap and celebrate when our survivors do their first celebratory lap right after the opening ceremonies around 11 a.m. Um, we would love to see, uh, it's like a, a sea of purple. They're purple shirts. They're, you know, we give them gifts. Um, we will be, we'll have teams set up that will be decorated, um, in the pirate theme. We have teams that will be doing games. We have kids zone, um, our ROTC at Martinsburg high school, they'll be there helping people set up. So it's going to be a day full of fun. We have fun activities set up. One thing that I do want to mention, though, that's actually happening this Saturday is our survivor and caregiver brunch, and it's going to be on May 20th, 11 a.m. at Bennington Ruiton Club. Um, I do need people to um, RSVP by the 18th. And how do they RSVP, Penny? They can get a hold of... Jennifer Richardson, and her email is um, J-E-N-N-I-R-I-C-H-A-R-D-S-O-N-0-3 at gmail.com, or they can email me at penny.horner at cancer.org. Yours is easier. We're going. Well, we're going. Thinking. We're going with Penny dot Horner at Cancer dot org because I'm trying to write down Jennifer's email. I'm like, ah, oh, it's like an yeah, SAT. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah, we're we're going somewhere. Too many else. circles to fill it on that one. Yeah. So I, I'm not aware of what's going on in the 20th. Uh, how long has that been planned, Penny? So we've been planning this um, since last year, and we usually do a survivor brunch, but this is the first year that we're doing it before the actual event. Um, so, yes, yeah, so Bennington Ruiton Club, um, they have donated space um, for us to use, and we have volunteers that will be making the meal, and we'll also have some gifts for our survivors, because we love to give our survivors gifts. It's a celebration. Um, so, yeah, it's a great, great time. I will not be there myself, as I will be heading to the beach for a little R and R before the Relay for Life event. Very nice. I think everybody should take R and R with them when they go for some R and R. Yeah, That's there, you right. there you go. There you go. Penny, how, in, in terms of the Relay for Life, uh, how, does that act as a fundraiser as well? Yes, it's a fundraiser how event. One hundred percent of how, the proceeds that day. How does it work? Oh. It, how does it work? Oh. Okay, so Relay for Life, if you um, go on and register, it's relayforlife.org, and then you put your zip code in, and it will pop up Relay for Life of Berkeley County, and you register. Um, and then we assign you a, a campsite space. You bring your canopy, um, your friends, your family, your camp chairs, bring something to either raffle off or do some kind of fundraiser. Um, what I'm doing this year is I'm doing lap needs at registration. So for a $5 donation, you come to my registration site, get a string, a 17-inch string, and you, uh, with every lap you do, you put a bead on that string. And that's my fundraiser I do for my team. We're called the Pavement Pounders. If you want to join my team, you can too. Um, a little plug for my team. <laughs> Good job. You, you and Maria can compete on that one. Yeah, there you go. There you go. But it is, it's wonderful. You come out and you see all these tents and different teams and teams have names and some are a little more competitive than others. Um, what's the general amount that you raise for, or what did you raise last year, Penny, at the Martinsburg Relay? 
Berkeley we County. We raised one hundred and thirty six thousand wow. dollars last That's year. Amazing! Wow! Yeah! 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 And people normally pledge like like you were talking about penny so you can have somebody pledge for how many laps you can go around and you don't have to be there the whole day but you start at no. 11 and what time do you finish like seven the next morning or something we changed it a little bit okay um, we end we end at midnight okay um hopefully maybe next year we'll go back to the overnight event um, but because of COVID and all this good stuff, we kind of um, pivoted a little bit. I hate that word, pivot. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm sick of pivoting. Um, but, yeah, so we end at 12 midnight um, after our luminaria ceremony, which is absolutely beautiful. beautiful. It's the most meaningful part of Relay. You can purchase a luminaria bag. Um there's a white bag, a purple bag, and a gold bag, and they start at ten dollars and go up to twenty dollars. It's if you have not been to a Relay for Life event, you have got to come and see the ceremony. I guarantee you will return year after year after year. Even if you, even if you see any part of this event, <laughs> you're going to return. We have Zumba too. So come oh, out and well. do some Zumba with us. <laughs> Bill and I should be there. For we'll Zumba. be there, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Penny Horner has been our guest here from the American Cancer Society. Is the Relay for Life coming up in uh, about two weeks. And then this Saturday at the Bennington Ruritan Club, there is a brunch as well that you could be a part of. And uh, also, Penny has given us the 800 number for American Cancer Society. If you need help, 800 227 Two three four five eight hundred two two seven two three four five. Penny, any final thoughts? I know as we speak, listening or watching this program, we have many folks who are cancer survivors or are going through the stuff right now. What do you have to say to them? Um, always go on cancer.org or call the eight hundred number. We have some great support groups to help you through. Come to relay. I will be at the registration tent. I would love to sit down and talk with you. I will bring a bag of pennies in a penny for your thoughts. So, hence the name. Yeah, I wish you were named Dollar. Then you'd have a bag of dollars with you. That'd be lighter than a bag of pennies. Yeah. <laughs> My parents weren't thinking, apparently. <laughs> yeah. From now on around here, your name is Dollar Horner. <laughs> there Dollar you go. Dollar Horner. Dollar Horner. You got it. Hey, Penny, thanks so much. I appreciate your time this morning. I'm just uh, amazed at what you do and uh, all the work the American Cancer Society does. And uh, nothing but uh, great thoughts from everybody in this room out to all of you right now listening and watching who are dealing with cancer. Uh, either directly or through a loved one. And uh, for those of you who are in the club of cancer survivors, fight on, man. Just uh, continue living the good life every single day. Penny, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.